Hi everyone, and today I am going to show you how to put together a clarinet. I've been playing the clarinet for over 10 years now, so I just wanted to make this video to maybe help you all who are just starting out and give you the basics on how to put together a clarinet. So let's just get right into it. So this is what a clarinet looks like inside of the case. Your case might look a little bit different than this, but this is what mine looks like. So it's really nice because it has this little compartment right here so you can put some stuff in it. So I actually don't have anything in it right now because recently I took my clarinet in to get repaired so I have it all in a separate bag but I'm gonna show you all that as well what I recommend you keep in your clarinet case so yeah but here is the clarinet so the clarinet has five different main pieces so you'll see you have this is the bell so that goes at the bottom and then this is the lower joint the upper joint the barrel and the mouthpiece with the ligature on it and also your mouthpiece should come with a case over it to help keep it protected because that's super important because if you do drop your mouthpiece or bump it into anything it could chip on the sides and you definitely don't want that and you don't want to have to replace it so yeah those are the five pieces of the clarinet so now i am going to show you how to put it all together so you can actually choose to start from the top of the clarinet at the mouthpiece or the bottom of the clarinet at the bell it is really up to you personal preference i'm going to take my bell, which this is the bottom of the clarinet, and then I'm going to take the lower joint. And you know it's the lower joint because it is a little bit bigger than the upper joint. And you can just kind of look at these keys. And all you're going to do is you're gonna put the two pieces together and twist them kind of like back and forth until this is pushed all the way up. So there you go, you got your first two pieces together. Now you're gonna take your upper joint and there's a special thing that you have to do to put these two pieces together. So what you have to do is you have to press down this key. This is the key that's connected to this one. So if you see, if you press this one, it pushes that down, but also if you press this, sorry, I have to move so you can see it, it presses that one down. So yeah, I just press it on the hole though. And if you can see, it moves this piece right here. If you try to do it without doing that, that piece is gonna bump into this one. And if you try to force it on, it's probably going to break. So make sure you have that held down to keep it out of the way. And it also is a special way to get this on. So you're gonna wanna make sure, if you see this piece, you can see the edges. And also it's kind of hard to see on camera. I'll try to move it. There's two little lines right here on this piece. So you're gonna wanna try to line those up with this piece right here. So press down that key and twist back and forth and then just watch it, watch it and make sure those two pieces are lined up. So if you can see, you can see how the edges of these line up with that perfectly. So yeah, and when press it all the way down and look at you, you've already got three pieces of your clarinet all together. So now we're gonna take the barrel and if you can see the barrel has a uh, two part well kind of like it it looks different it's not uniform all the way down so this part is a little bit bigger it's kind of hard to tell but if you see it does curve out a little bit and this part is skinnier so if you try to put the skinnier part on it's not gonna fit so you're gonna want to make sure to take the big part and twist it all the way down now you might not necessarily press it all the way down so once you get more into playing you'll figure out how you can manipulate this um, to make your sound um, so you sound in tune um, so if you're sharp you're actually you can wiggle this up and it should help you bring more in tune it depends on how much you'll have to go but if you're flat you can actually press it down more and that will help you become more in tune so that's kind of when you start playing but yeah i'm just going to keep it all the way pressed down for now all right so now you're going to take your mouthpiece and you can take this cover off here and this part has a little bit of a certain way to do it too so you don't just put this on randomly um so i'm going to take the ligature off because it's easier to twist it on without that on there so if you can see the back of your mouthpiece kind of has like the, these lines here so you're going to want to line that up if you turn your this is the front of your clamp but if you turn it around You'll want to line it up with this. I like to call it the raindrop piece, but it's also, there's multiple names for it. It's a register key because it helps you bring your notes up an octave. But um, yeah, so it'll be this piece. So you'll want to line it up with this and also this back thumb key. So that's what you'll line this up with. 
So you're just gonna wiggle it back and forth. And I kind of go like this with my thumb up and down and you can, I twist the whole barrel if I have to adjust it. I don't just adjust this part, it's easier to adjust it with the barrel. And you can make sure that's all lined up. And mine looks nice and lined up. And even if you wanna like hold it here, you can kind of be like, okay, that feels right. Cause you will definitely be able to tell if it's not lined up cause it's gonna feel kind of funky. All right. And usually when I'm putting my clarinet together, I will be soaking my reed at the same time. Like I'll just hold it in my mouth to help get it wet. But for the purpose of this video, um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put it on dry. So the reed, so there's a certain way you would put this on as well. Um, so usually on your reed, there's like a flat side and then a side that you can kind of tell curves up. And usually on the flat side, there's the brand name. Um, so personally, I use three and a half Mitchell Lurie reeds. I definitely recommend this brand, but it's really what's best for you. And when I was first starting out, I did um, a three thickness. So the lower the number, the less thick it is. Um, the higher the number, the more thick the reed is. So as you get more advanced, um, you'll definitely probably want to keep going up. I sometimes even use fours, but it's whatever um, your instructor says is best for you and whatever you feel most comfortable with. Um, so yeah, for your reed, you're not going to want it to be too high or too low. You're going to pretty much want to line it up right with the top. It should like the shape should match up with the mouthpiece but you also i raise it up just ever so slightly so it's like that much above the mouthpiece because if you have it too low your or too high the sound it's gonna sound weird and you just line it up in between these lines so i'm gonna do that and i'm like okay it's probably yeah it's probably gonna move it's hard um to hold it in the camera but that's about where you want it and then, so you're gonna hold it in place. Um, I do it with my left thumb. And then you're gonna take your ligature and put it on and you'll be able to tell as well. This side is, it's really hard to see on camera, but this side is a little skinnier than the, bo than the, um, the bottom of it. So you're gonna wanna put the bigger side down because once again, if you put the lower side, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on. And to put it on, I'm going to take it off so you can see, you're going to want to line it up in between this big part. You can even tell where my ligature has been because I've played this for so long. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to line up that ligature with those two lines here. And usually it'll slip right into place. And also before you tighten the screws, if you need to, sometimes your reed moves a little. So I'm just going to kind of move it back to where it goes. And also as you're playing, you'll be able to tell if you need to adjust your reed or not. So yeah, it's all in place. And then I'm going to tighten these screws, righty tighty lefty loosey, <laughs> as much as you can. And voila, you just put together your clarinet. Great job. It's so exciting the first time that you put it together. Um, yeah, I really hope this was super helpful for you for how to put together a clarinet. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to take apart the clarinet. So you can start from the top or the bottom. I did separate from the bottom, but I actually like taking it apart from the top, which I know is kind of silly, but you're gonna unscrew these, lefty loosey, pull it right off. Take your reed and make sure it goes back in the protective case. Please never leave your reed on the clarinet. That is going to um, create a lot of germs and build up. And yeah, just don't, don't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, and with the ligature off, you're gonna hold this part like this and then unscrew this so only the mouthpiece comes out. And then you can just slide your ligature right back on and always put that protective cover on it. You can see it slides right in there. And then you'll just put that back in your case. Same thing, hold one hand down here, hold the other, screw this off, and you can put that right in your case. Now you're almost done. It's really quick to put the clarinet away. Make sure that you hold down this piece, just like when you were putting it together, you wanna hold this down when you're taking it apart as well. So hold that down. You can see that lifts that key, and then you're safe to take it off without any damages. And put that away. And I'll show you so far what my case looks like. You can kind of see, it's hard to see, but the um, you'll be able to tell what, where the um, upper joint or the lower joint, the upper joint is a little bit smaller, so it's gonna go in that way. And you'll be able to tell because if you put it in the wrong way, it's not gonna fit, or if you put it in the big one, it's not gonna fit right. So it's nice, they make them the perfect size to put the pieces. 
And then your last part, all you have to do is twist these apart, put those right down in there. And like I said, your case might look different, but this is what mine looks like um, and how mine are put back in there. Before we go, I'm actually going to show you some things that I recommend that you keep in your clarinet case or with you um, when you're playing. So yeah, I have everything in this bag right now, this little happy camper bag that I think is really cute. <laughs> um, because like I said, I just had to take my clarinet in for repair, so I haven't stocked everything back in my clarinet case yet. But I'm just going to show you some of the, and some of these things I don't put in the case, I just bring them with me. One thing I have is I have like this cloth here because um, sometimes when you're playing a lot the, this is kind of gross but the spit builds up and drips out the bottom so sometimes I put this on um, under my clarinet not you know on the ground wherever I'm playing to help absorb any moisture that might come out. This is totally optional I just do this to kind of protect the floors a little bit and then this is a must. This is a clarinet cleaning cloth so on one side it's got this little weight and then here's the cloth. So all you do, you can either do it through the whole clarinet or you can do it individual pieces. I usually do a little bit of both. You just drop this weight into the mouthpiece hole where you take the reed off and you just drop it down and it will go down and then this will just stick out of the bottom and you pull it all the way through and it cleans your clarinet so yeah this is a must this is not not optional i um i try to clean it after every time i play just to keep my clarinet um in the best condition possible another little cleaning tool i have i'll take it out of the bag so you can see it better but this is for um all the holes so all you do is you just press it in these holes and you just kind of wiggle it back and forth and so all the holes here and it, you'll you'll be able to feel when it stops and pull it out and that helps clean all of the finger holes this is optional too but i do recommend it um i have a little screwdriver this is actually just an eyeglass screwdriver um so that uh, if ever any of these little screws um come out so for example you can see Ooh, if it'll focus there's like a little screw right there um if it ever starts to come out you can screw it back down and you don't have to ask someone to help you fix it because you have your own um i had a lot of my um peers ask me for this they always knew i had a screwdriver when they needed it and they said it was a lifesaver so i totally do recommend this not required once again but totally do recommend it okay so this one is another requirement a must you're definitely going to want some cork grease so i I have these are just two different kinds I like this one because you don't have to put your fingers and get your hands all greasy this one looks like chapstick and so you might need to do this the first especially the first few times you're using your clarinet um, so wherever there's a cork so I'll show you on here when it's getting really tough to put your pieces together or take them apart you're gonna want to start using some cork grease so all you do is you open the cap and it literally will look, don't use it as chapstick, but it does look like chapstick. And you just rub it around. You don't need a ton around the whole thing. And instantly, right away, you'll feel how easy it is to take it on and off. So yeah, you're definitely going to want some of that as well. And then I have some pencils, um, pen, highlighter. You're definitely going to probably want a pencil because you might um, sometimes need to mark up your music. Um, don't mind this pencil. This is actually for one of the songs that I had to play. I think back in high school, we had to tap on our stand um, with a pencil for in the music. And this is what happened. <laughs> I must have been really getting into it. But yeah, you pencils are a requirement. Definitely a must. And your instructor is probably going to require you to have a pencil anyway but yeah to mark up the music don't do it in pen definitely do it in pencil i just had the pen in case and highlighter in case but pencils are a must and this is actually a tip my lesson teacher gave me um it's i have a pipe cleaner here um so she said this is another way like especially with these keys that are blocked if you have any like water or anything like a lot of time i'll get some bill up here and um that kind of helps um, just to get some of that stuff. So this is optional, but I do have a pipe cleaner just in case. And then, um, so you can see here, I have like this little grippy here, cause sometimes after a while, it, your thumb does get really sore. So I cut up this really rubbery, like nice grippy and um, put it on there for thumb support. So I have an extra just in case. And it really does make a huge difference if you have that. I have some hand sanitizer. I usually always put this on before I'm touching my clarinet, especially my mouthpiece area. 
I just like to keep my hands clean. And obviously just prevent germs as much as I can, especially because I'm touching the mouthpiece and read where it's gonna be going into my mouth. <laughs> so last but not least, probably the most important thing you're gonna wanna have a stock of is reeds. You're definitely gonna wanna have some extra reeds in your case. If your chips or anything, you're gonna need to um, replace it because it's not gonna play well if um, your reeds chip. So you're definitely gonna want some extra reeds. Um, now, this I actually got this for Christmas. Um, my parents got me um, some more reeds and this bigger reed case, which I'm super excited about. I haven't gotten a chance to open them yet because like I said a million times already, I had my clarinet in the shop recently. But I'm really excited to use these and I um, almost done with my other box, but I don't need quite need this one yet. But also my clarinet came with a bunch of these little cases and these ones are actually great for storing inside of your clarinet case. And so yeah, I totally recommend and you definitely should get some reed cases and reeds. Um, that way you don't have to, the reeds come in like little plastic containers and that way you don't have to keep them in there and they are nice and protected in these. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hoped that it gave you all some advice and help with um, kind of your little starter kit of what you need for your clarinet and good luck with your playing journey and it is so much fun. I might be biased but I love 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 playing the clarinet it's a passion of mine and I just really hope you all enjoy it and good luck on your musical journey so I will see you next time bye